Cuddling up by the fire sure sounds romantic. And with Valentine, Valentine's Day right around the corner, maybe you're starting to get some ideas. Yeah, so we sent Selena to find the best drinks for the season. Hey everybody, we are hanging out at the brand new tasting center here in the Robinson Town Center in Pennsylvania Fine Wine and Good Spirits store. It's beautiful back here and I'm ready to taste some very special Valentine's Day cocktails with Dave Kiawa. Thanks for having us in here, Dave. Oh, it's so great to have you. You know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's here now. And we're going to give you four special Cupid approved cocktails that you can make with that special someone in your life. So let's get right into it. The first one I have is called a Rosa Mimosa. Oh. And a Rosa Mimosa is actually Fine Wine and Good Spirits Cocktail of the Month this month. And it starts out with one half an ounce of Grand Meunier, which is cognac with orange essence, then two ounces of orange juice, then we're going to top it off with Rosa Regali. So oh. I'm going to go ahead and put those into our flute. And Top it off with refreshing. Rosa Regali. Yeah, this is Rosa Regali is actually a brachetto from northern Italy that's a sweet, sparkling wine. Oh. And of course, to make it extra fancy, we're going to put in a few. A few fresh raspberries. Raspberries, exactly. Oh, it looks beautiful. So this is the Rosa Mimosa. The Rosa Mimosa. A little bit sweet, but a little twist on a traditional mimosa. It's really good, and it's not too sweet. Yeah. I think it's just the right amount in there. A little bit of Excellent, balance. Excellent, Dave. Yes. What's next? So number two is called a Tropical Moscato Passion Fruit 75, Ooh. which is a whole lot of words. And what anchors it is Tangeray's London, London Dry Gin. So gin is basically vodka with a little bit of botanicals, mostly juniper berry. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add a half an ounce of fresh lemon juice, a quarter ounce of St. Germain elderflower liqueur. And elderflower liqueur is basically uh, a, a liqueur out of France made from elderflowers, a little bit sweet, very aromatic, and we're gonna top it off with tropical passion fruit Moscato. Oh. So we're gonna go ahead and put those into our flute. They just keep getting better and better. You know, Dave, my dad's favorite drink is a French martini. Okay. I don't know what's in it, but I'm thinking it may be, or no, it's a French 75. French 75. So it must be similar. Exactly, and we're gonna garnish it with just a little bit of a lemon twist. Oh. Double fisting. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> mm. I'll switch places with you. Oh, that I need to be on the beach right now. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. These yeah. are both great. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a tropical flair to it. Yeah. Now we move on to Love Bites. And Love Bites is basically a cocktail that has Belvedere vodka, one and a half mm. ounces. And then we had three quarters of an ounce of Aperol liqueur. Love which Aperol. Is, yeah, it's a little bit bitter. And then we put a half ounce of simple syrup and an egg white. So we're gonna go ahead and put those into a cocktail shaker, Ooh. all those different ingredients. And you might ask- Can me, I shake it up? You absolutely can shake it up. <laughs> go ahead. Because I know we have one more to get to, that delicious espresso martini. Yes. Go ahead and shake it up, pour it in there. We're gonna garnish that with <laughs> Luxardo cherries. Woo! All right. Ah, now that. There it's is delicious. the Love Bites. All right, what's our last cocktail? So the last there, cocktail is a vanilla espresso mm. martini. And a vanilla espresso martini starts out with one and a half ounces of Kahlua, which is a rum and coffee liqueur, one and a half ounces of Svedka vodka, one ounce of espresso, and two and a half taste teaspoons of vanilla syrup. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and shake that in our shaker. So we're going to pour it into a martini glass. And I see the espresso beans. we got to garnish it. We're going to garnish it with, with that beautiful topping. Exactly. Some espresso beans. And they float right on the top. Really nice. Look at that. Oh, This Dave. is kind of like a black Russian. Cheers, everybody. Martini. This looks amazing. Oh, that may be my favorite. Happy Valentine's Happy Day, Happy Valentine's Dave. to you and everybody out there in TV land. I think it is so neat they have a tasting room now. I know. What a neat Isn't thing. Isn't that great? Yeah, and you can catch Dave Kiawa's seasonal cocktails once a month here on PTL, and we can't wait to see what he's coming up for for March. I wonder, what is the one thing that happens in March? Could, do you think it could be St. Patrick's Day? <laughs>
<laughs> Can't wait I don't to know. See what Perhaps he that's the theme. We don't know, but look out for Dave the Drink Guy. All right, the links to the recipes and more from Fine Wine and Good Spirits are all at our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.